let's talk about our pre-show. Mikey, first off, let's review some shows. First off, Mikey, thoughts on Crown Jewel? No. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> thoughts on Evolution? Uh, yes. Evolution was great. I, well, I watched the whole thing, and I had a wonderful time watching it. Actually, I watched the whole thing, minus the Ronda Rousey-Nikki Bella match, because I had to watch it after the fact. So I started watching at, like, 11, and I fell asleep to, uh, by the time it was uh, Nikki Ronda, because it was just so late. Mm-hmm. But I kind of figured Ronda was going to win, so I didn't really care that I missed it. I just, I'm glad I saw the rest of it, though. That is that is fair. Uh, uh, but you can see this match fully, I believe, if it's still on there, on the WWE's YouTube channel. So you can totally check out Ronda Rousey defeating Nikki Bella. Well, let's talk about that much right off the bat. Uh, of what you saw of it, any thoughts? Uh, I thought it was amazing. I had a It was a good pay-per-view. Um, I wish the the whole, like, stage and, like, arena setup they had was more had more of a pop it kind of just looked like a random house show set up like it wasn't it felt like nothing special when it was like really something special i've heard that same complaint online that some people didn't really like the stage setup because it did feel house showy yeah it um, didn't feel like a it didn't feel like a pay-per-view like it should they should have like made it i don't know i feel like they should have put a little more effort into what the stage looked like it was just like a regular set, like a regular house show set with like two signs that said Evolution, and that was it. <laughs> Conversely, they did have a different arena. They did, they, I mean, not a different arena. They did have a different um, uh, 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 stage. They did have a different setup than they usually do for pay per views. And it maybe didn't have the pay per view feel, and it maybe felt more house showy at times, but it they did have a different stage to normal pay per views, I guess. Yeah, it was different. There was no, like, ramp. It was a shorter, like... It was, like, a flat walk to the ring. There was no, like, big, long, like, extra ramp or, like, anything crazy. But it, it was it was, de- it was was definitely different. But it didn't... Like I said, it wasn't special. Nothing... Now, felt- also, according to reports, however, which is very interesting, which may be added into the house show feel to an extent... That uh, there is a report going around that um, the production crew of NXT worked on Evolution. Interesting. Which may explain the that would make more sense. Yeah, which would explain the set and would also definitely explain the fact that the the arena stage was all uh, the lights were out for the arena, so you couldn't mm-hmm. see the fans. Yeah, that was definitely that. That took me off guard. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that. But that was definitely a cool touch. Um, mm-hmm. It did help me focus on a lot of the matches. Like most were pretty good. I enjoyed a lot of the matches. Well, then let's go uh, through through them real quick. Then right off the bat, Trish Stratus and Lita defeating Mickey James and Alicia Fox, who was definitely in this match. And not like last week that came out real at late after they revealed Alexa Bliss being in it. Yeah, that was that was weird. Um, but that match was pretty good for all things considered. Uh, even though Alicia Fox didn't have the heat that Alexa would have had going in, uh, I still thought it was a pretty good match, and uh, everyone put their best foot forward. I think and did a really put on a good show. Um. I, d- I did hear reports that Lita and uh, Trish Stratus are going to stick around until Mania, which I kind of really don't want, surprisingly enough. Because uh, their women's division is already kind of... The way they book the women's division is already kind of garbage, and I don't think they need more people. I don't think they need two legends in it. I get, like, two quote like legends. Well, I'm not going to say quote-unquote legends, because they are. But... It's like it's kind of like the whole Undertaker Kane situation and trip and DX situation. Like, let your new people shine and stop going back to the past with this nostalgia trip on all these old superstars. Now, Mikey, I'm gonna fight you on this one. I got a bold, brash meatball of a pitch here. Okay, what you got? I've seen the same. I've seen the same reports. There's apparently there are plans for Trish Stratus and Lita at WrestleMania. 
Mm. I've also seen reports saying that at SmackDown, Raw, and Evolution this past week, WWE has been giving out signs that read, we want women's tag team championships. Yes, and there was one at the Mixed Match Challenge. Uh, they Charlotte held up the sign. It was like a it was like a phenomenal flair sign, but on the back of it, it said we want women's championships. Yes. So what I'm saying is, here's my pitch for WrestleMania: Trish and Lita versus best friends Sasha Banks and Bailey. For the women's tag team championships. Okay. That's my pitch. That's that's what I'm leading up to. Is that I believe that is what we could be leading towards. I do like that, and I would love to see women's I'm, tag team title belts. Um I'm putting my flag in the ground now. <laughs> that that's I'm calling it here. Today, on this day, November something. What no, day is it? November first, dude. November we just started. first recording, never November November fourth of a release. Flag in the ground, WrestleMania, Trish Stratus and Lita versus Bailey and Sasha Banks for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Thoughts, Mikey? I mean, I like it. I think it's a good idea. Like, it'd be a cool match to watch. I'm just trying to think of how they're going to... I'm just trying to think of, like, how they would do the the Women's Tag... Would they, they would probably make it cross-branded, right? I, I think that's how it should be done. Personally, I think that's how it should be done, cross-branded, because... I mean, the women's division, obviously, it's still, compared to the men, still small. It's much bigger than it has been in the past, but it is still relatively small. So you have tag teams that include, that takes up four people off your roster if they have a match at some point. We have a lot of tag teams that exist, I, uh, naturally, like Best Friends, Sasha Banks uh, and Bayley, the whole Alexa Bliss, Mickey James situation with Alicia Fox, mm. um, the Iconics, um, yada, yada, yada. There's a bunch of other tag teams. Um, so I think a cross branded situation would be ideal. Maybe, maybe, I don't know how you would do that. Maybe you have the, the, my weary with that is that will start, start this cross pollination of shows. And at some point we'll get raw and SmackDown to one roster again, which I think is a terrible idea, Mm -hmm. but, uh, that's my concern with that, but I don't know how else he would do it. Mm, yeah, I just want to see a match between Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville and Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan because they're basically the exact same stable. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> next up, a, a battle royal for a women's championship opportunity. Nia Jax stands tall against twenty other women, past and present. Um, thoughts on Nia Jax winning, and I guess looking like she's gonna go after Ronda Rousey. To get to get back her Raw Women's Championship, I mean, I liked it. It was a good battle royal. Um, it was cool to see all the all the legends again. But like I said, the battle royal, I still, I still, it still leaves a bad taste in my mouth because it's like you had a whole pay per view to fit in all these people, and you didn't. Like it's supposed to be this women's revolution, women's freaking pay-per-view only women's pay-per-view and they gave the battle royal spot to the women again like they do in every other pay-per-view like it just felt eh. yeah i see what you're saying that we had all this time we've had months really i think she announced it in july was the announcement yeah i think so of this show yeah it was it was a while July 23rd is when we announced Evolution. We had all this time to do it, yet we got to a 20-woman battle royal as being on the show. Granted, we had a lot of other great matches, but, you know, we could have also had a ember Asuka match. We could have had a uh, Naomi Molina, if she was able, if she was available, match. Yeah. We had other matches on the board, and we didn't do it. Um, who knows? That's that's a that's a WWE thing, I guess. Uh, yeah. Whether or not <laughs> what they're doing with that situation. Um, granted, at the same time, in their in play devil's advocate, um, a lot of the people that came back: Alundra Bla- Blaze, Michelle McCool, Kelly Kelly, Trish, not, uh, not Trish Stratus, but um, um, Tori Wilson, um, 
yada yada yada. A lot of these people haven't wrestled in years, or the last time they wrestled, I guess, was the Royal Rumble. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, limited fighting abilities because they've been retired for so long. So, yeah, could they have? Do you think it would have been better to put these um, retirees, I guess, in a uh, a full fledged match where they had they might sh- reveal some of their weaknesses again or? I don't know. That's that's how I'm feeling about it. Is that yeah, a battle royal is not great. Maybe take out some of the newer people like Asuka and Ember Moon, but then also it's like it helps hide. It c- helps keep that nostalgic pop for these Tori Wilsons, Kelly Kellys, Michelle McCools, Alundra Blazes, but also helps hide some of the facts that uh, they haven't wrestled in years. Yeah, <laughs> there was one spot where. I thought it was really funny. It was, like, right in the beginning, I think, where it was, like, supposed to be, like, the old school legends versus, like, the new school women, you know, and they all went after each other, but then in the corner, it was just Lana and Ember Moon fighting, and I was like, wait. (laughs) Someone did not get the message. Like, they had, no, it was like they had too many... With too many new women for the the, the the legends in the ring, so they just kind of went off to the side and just stayed in the corner. They stayed in the corner for like, I think like five six minutes, like just straight. It was so funny. That's hilarious. That is so funny. Just Lana and Ember Moon like like throwing like some elbows here and there and attempting to throw each other over. It was it was really funny to watch. God. Oh Lana, it's weird how they're like building Nia Jax to go after Ronda, but also building a feud with Tamina at the same time. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. That, But then they also had that, like, yeah, yeah, like, they, and they also had a match on Raw where it was, like, it almost looked like she was going after Ember, too. Like, how many rivalries are you going to put this woman in? Yeah, that, yeah, I don't know what they're doing with that. I guess maybe, a, like, a thing where, like, oh, Tamina might cost Nia Jax the thing, or... Maybe it'll take Tamina and Nia Jax to take down Ronda Rousey. I don't know. I, I'm I'm not sure what we're doing with the, all this stuff. But uh, I guess we'll wait and see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, next up, a May Young Classic f- Tournament final match with Io Shirai being defeated by Tony Storm. Come on, we all knew that match was going to be good. Of course, that match is going to be baller as hell. Tony Storm is awesome. I love her. She's great. We all knew that Io match Shirai, was going to be good. Awesome. There, was no, there was no doubt that match was going to be good. They were both great, and they put on a great match, and I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Every gosh dang They freaking tore the house down. It was great. It was great. Um, what more to say than uh, an amazing, beautiful match uh, with Tony Storm defeating Io Shirai? What, what more to say than it was Tony Storm versus Io Shirai? Yeah, I mean, on paper, on paper, it was one of those matches that literally lived up to the hype. Because on paper, you're like, "That's gonna be a great match." It was a great match. It like went in, it like went in on the Excitro meter with a four out of four, and came out with a review poll of four out of four. <laughs> nice, nice, my dude. <laughs> uh, next up, a six woman tag match: Banks, Bailey, and Natalia defeating the Riot Squad of Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan. Stop making the Riot Squad lose. <laughs> They, I believe they also lost at Super Showdown. And they also lost on the Raw following Evolution. That's true. That is true. It was like it was like Riot Squad, Mickey. It was it was Riot Squad, Mickey, and Alicia versus Trish, Lita, Banks, Natalia, and Bailey. And they lost again. Yeah. I'm so tired of watching the Riot Squad lose. Like, they're so good. Just let them have one victory. Yeah. Riot Squad in a sticky situation where... It's like, oh, they'll get into sort of like a 50-50, or I guess maybe a 33-33-33% booking, (laughs) and then they'll have a match, and then they'll lose it. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's really making the Riot Squad not look strong here, guys. Yeah. I mean, it's like what makes them strong is that they'll just come out and just attack people, I guess. Yeah, like, like they put on good matches. And they do good teamwork, and they do good fighting, but, like, every time they do good fighting, it's like, oh, the face kicks out and triumphs in, like, one or two moves. And it's like, come on. Mm-hmm. Don't kick them while, like, stop kicking them while they're down. Like, just let them have their push. Like, they're so good. 
Nice callback to Brie Bella. Oh. <laughs> do you like my reference, Mikey? Mikey, do yes. you like my reference? Mikey, did you yes. like my reference? Not stop kicking them when good. they're down, Brie Bella. Is that a good reference to make? It was good. God, it, was... it was good. It, it like like Brie like Brie terrifying. Bella knocking out Brie Bella lot knocking out Liv Morgan is like what WWE is doing to the Riot Squad. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> terrifying imagery. Uh, next up, a match that you predicted would tear the house down: NXT Women's Championship match, Kyrie Sane uh, losing to Shayna Baszler. Not in a, not tapping out, but just you know fading, blacking out essentially. It surprised me that Shayna Baszler won. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was I yep yeah, surprised was not me too. That. I was expecting a call up. I was expecting a call up for Baszler. That's that's what I was expect. I was expecting after she after she lost. I was expecting a Kyrie call up. That's also true. That is also true. And I think I think either one of those two is ready to be called up. Like they're both very good. Hmm. I think, like I said, I thought I definitely thought Kyrie was getting the call up on on all the next night, but yeah, she didn't. And I don't know what they're doing. She wasn't on NXT either. No, she was not. No, she was not. Um, here's my thought right off the bat: we had the ending of the match involved two other the two other members of. Of of the four horse women of UFC to help Baszler get the win here, essentially. Yeah. Um. That looks looks like we might have a three on one situation, but Kyrie Sane's of course friends of Io Shirai. That's three on two. We'll throw in another person. I don't know who will be. Um, a three on three match, maybe some sort of war game situation coming. That up? would be cool. I'd be into that. Who knows? Who knows? Also, I would love that war. Speaking of war games, I'm hype. I'm real excited. You're hype. I'm real excited. Undisputed Era versus War Raiders, Ricochet and Pete Dunn inside war games. That's gonna be insanity. It's going to be. I. It's going to be crazy. I mean, Undisputed Era were amazing the first re- roundabout. Throw in War Raiders, throw in Ricochet, throw in War Raiders and their athleticism. You I'll know be... Ricochet is going to do like a shooting star press off the top of the cage. I'm about to say, imagine what Ricochet is going to do in War Games. It's going to be insane. Oh, and then oh, you can't even don't tell me he's going to do some weird move where he's going to like one person's gonna, like Adam Cole's going to be in the other ring, Ricochet's in the other ring. There are two other rings. Ricochet runs up and then does like a. He jumps on one thing of ropes, does like a front flip, lands on the second thing of ropes, does like another back flip, and then lands on Adam Cole. Oh, definitely. He's gonna he's gonna do some crazy like inhuman stuff because that's just Ricochet. Of course, naturally, that's what he does. Um, but yes, uh, <laughs> I'm very excited for War Games, and hopefully, we'll get some sort of Baszler Sane situation at War Games. I guess we'll mm-hmm. find out. What happens there? Uh, next up, um, we already tar- talked a little bit about Rousey and Bella since we didn't watch much of it. But probably the what should have been the main event, prob- probably almost definitely the best match of the night. Becky Lynch defeats Charlotte Flair to become the last woman standing and retains the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Mikey, her thoughts? Dude, that match was absolutely just insane. Yeah, like that. That's one of it's one of the best matches I've seen. Period. Like not even just women's. Like I just thought it was just an amazing match. Like they tore the, they tore the roof off the place, and it was an amazing match with a bunch of crazy spots that I would not have thought that would ever be like a thing they would do with the women. <laughs> like that leg drop off the ladder through the announce table was like nuts <laughs> yeah that was in, it was quite arguable arguably one of the best women's matches of all times at least in uh, wwe yeah definitely at least in wwe definitely that's definitely going in like the history books that was very very good if you had to make a guess um or a preference i guess 
which was a better match? Bailey, Sasha Banks, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch. Dude, I don't know. They were both. They were both really, really good. I don't know. I can't even make a call on that one. Um, I'm looking it up now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Also, that that think? that great spot where they started throwing all the chairs in the ring and the crowd started chanting ECW was really, really good. Yeah. Right. It's great. It was so good. It was so good. Um, and then they got the wide shot of them both okay. throwing the chairs in. Oh, so good. So to throw in a little wrinkle to maybe what's the best women's match of all time. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's let's look at everyone's favorite, <laughs> everyone's favorite uh, wrestling rater, Dave Meltzer. Uh-huh. He rated he has rated Bailey Sasha Banks in the past four and a half stars. Okay. He gave Charlotte Flair Becky Lynch four point seven five stars. Bam, 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 bam. Of course, this being one person's opinion, but uh, according to Dave. Becky and Flair put on quite the show. Yeah. It was just a, a tinsy bit better. Yeah, it was that was an insane match. Yes. Uh I believe my I, I did like the ending as well. Uh Becky Lynch power bombing Charlotte Flair through the table on the outside, just like how Becky lost her title um versus Char- uh versus Alexa Bliss at TLC a, a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. The 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 storytelling there. Uh, and then also continuing the storytelling, continuing on SmackDown Live uh, that following Tuesday with Charlotte Flair. Not sure if she wants to be the captain of Survivor Series because, hey, I don't, I don't think I deserve it right now. I lost Flair and Square. I'm not sure if I that that comeback story of a champion. It's exciting stuff. Plus, that allows Becky to move on to other people. Mm-hmm. Finally, I was I was waiting for it. I want Becky to have a new rival. Like I love the Becky Charlotte feud. But I want to see Becky start tearing through the women's division, like everybody, you know, like it makes them look like a stronger, more versatile champion when you could take on more than one person. Mikey, let's let's do some uh, thoughts here. Do you think Becky will keep the title till WrestleMania? I don't see any reason why she shouldn't. OK, why is that? Because I think I think it's proven to be that Becky could be a strong champion and she's huge and she's amazing at her role right now and i think we could if we save it till wrestlemania and becky takes a break from charlotte we can get a good wrestlemania match of like charlotte versus becky again but like charlotte trained up and was like i'm done losing to becky now it's my time again you know like charlotte went through all this turmoil and all this and just losing to losing to becky all this fighting if she just steps back and is like i'm gonna train and I'm going to beat Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, and I'm going to be the queen again. That would be insane. Are you at all terrified, like I am, about Becky Lynch's reign, knowing that there were reports of WrestleMania match being Charlotte Flair versus Ronda? A little bit. <laughs> um, it does make me kind of... I'm very terrified. <laughs> yeah, I really want to see... A WrestleMania match where it's Charlotte and Becky, honestly. Right, right. That would, like make it make it like that is Charlotte Flair Becky three. Yeah, so we had last make one standing. Make that like a, I don't know, I don't know, empty arena match. I don't know, <laughs> Iron Woman match maybe. Like the oh, the an Iron one. Woman match would be perfect. Probably. Mm-hmm. Give him a thirty. Give him a thirty minute Iron Woman match. Yeah. I think that would be cool. Or you think they would do another like first time thing? That that I mean I don't know how much for how many first times we have left. That's what uh, I'm, that's what I'm trying to think of. Big... Like what what else could like a first time big women's match be? Yeah, I I, I like, can't. Think I would of say like they like they had a, they had Extreme Rules. They had TLC. They had Money in the Bank. They had Hell in a Cell. They had we, Steel Cage match. Which let's take a moment here, Mikey. That's an amazing thing. That is a great thing. It is. That that is Neither a very good thing that we can't that we can't think of anything. Mm-hmm. Neither of us That's can a think very, of very a good single uh, last. I mean, sure, we can do an empty arena match, but that those are boring. Like, yeah, I, all, the only one I can think of maybe like, like is like the War Games match, but we might have that at War Games. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just think I, that is a really good thing. You're right. Uh, but, like, out of the main matches that we can't think of anything, that's pretty dope. That's uh, and I'm ma- we're getting to this point now where it's like cool let let's keep this going. I I hope that we don't lose this momentum. Like we have the women's pay per view, which was a banger, which I hopefully was good money wise, so they can do another one. Um, mm. plus you have all these first first ever's happening that have big potential and stuff. I hope like now that we are running out of first ever's. Let's keep the momentum going and keep this division thriving. Mm-hmm. That's that's I that's agree. the hope, and I hope we can do the Fair. same for our own show. Um, yeah. and figure out our women's roster situation. <laughs> oh, we need to do that so bad. Our undercard, our undercard is such such a terrifying. But that is besides the point. <sighs> that was WWE Evolution, an amazing women's pay per view. We both really hope there's a, a sequel or a squeakquel. Evolution the squeakquel. That they all have to dress up as chipmunks. Yo, I, I would, I would, I would buy a tiered purchase WWE Network just for. I'll buy fourteen ninety nine just for a squeakquel. 